Hey y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina, and it's February. Where are your 2022 resolutions? If they're in the toilet, it's okay, don't feel bad. It's just time to simplify. And today is all about those 11 healthy habits that will help you be a better you in 2022. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're busy and tired. Really, I just wanna take the top things people tell me they want to achieve and break them down in a way that make those goals more reachable and realistic. And go ahead and share with us down in the comments some of the things you're working on and how you're working on them. I want to hear from you. And don't worry, my description box has a bunch of wonderful resources, including if you text my free text community. Yes, that's going to give you access to when I go live or when I have those wonderful master classes and other free resources to help you increase the wonderful quality of your life. And if you're enjoying what I'm doing over here, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe. It's going to help the community to continue to grow and allow me to continue to bring you the content that you want to see the most. Now let's get into this video. The first thing is to create a schedule and to use peak energy hours. I used to complain about the time I thought I didn't have instead of accounting for the time that I did. The best shortcut to becoming less busy in life is finding ways to be more efficient and productive with activities that take most of your time like work. Creating a schedule and using lists to keep track of the things you need to get done can help you to be more organized and get more healthy. Now peak hours for all of us vary throughout the day, but for most of us, it's going to be the first half of the hours in our day. So doing stuff like checking your social media or doing things that don't need a lot of brain power during those most productive hours is not going to be great for you. You want to make sure you're using that time wisely and getting the things that need most of your brain power done early on so that you can be focused. Have you ever tried to focus during time you have no brain power and no willpower? It doesn't work out. So make sure you time block like I do and come up with doing those things that require most of your focus during those hours that you have the most energy. Nutrition can be a whole puzzle to figure out. So keeping it simple is best. I don't think we need to be on a bunch of diets or even eat air to stay healthy. Biology works on averages. So if on average we're eating pretty healthy, then we'll usually be okay. A pizza or a piece of cake every now and again is not gonna ruin your whole healthy vibe. I focus on eating high quality food most of the time and I spend less time on what I can and cannot eat. Look, we busy. <laughs> we ain't got time for all of that. I also combine nutrients for the best results. When we eat meals and snacks with lean proteins, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats, it helps us to even out our energy levels, possibly reduce cravings, and stick to a regular schedule. The proper fuel includes things like nutrient-dense greens, whole grains, foods with omega-3 fatty acids, lean proteins like fish, white meat poultry, and Greek yogurt, foods with healthy fats like avocados, nuts and seeds, olive oil, and don't forget the food with vitamin D. I'll share some of the nutrients I use to get back on track with that, but what are some of those indicators of low vitamin D? A poor immune system, muscle weakness, weak bones, fatigue, poor wound healing, and hair loss. I also watch the sodium intake that I take in so that I can naturally keep my blood pressure lower. And also I dump a lot of these nutrients over into smoothies and I have a lot of those videos linked down below if you're interested in nutrient dense smoothies. I also take supplements and yes, food is my first line of defense, but when you busy, who taking all day micronutrients every day? I'll wait. Well, supplements are the next best thing. And you do want to do your research and check with your doctor before you purchase any, but there are some key ones that I focus on, like vitamin D3, B12, B6, vitamin C, magnesium, calcium, protein, and others. I'm currently loving AG1, which has something like 74 nutrients and vitamins in it, my probiotics, vitamin D in the liquid form, which helped me to solve my vitamin D problems, and also those protein shakes to help me get in my nutrients. I linked all my favorite supplements down below for you. It's also important to consume high quality content, information, and people. I've been focused on attention hijackers. Those things and external things that come in that remove our attention from the main focus at hand. 
I struggle with this big time and it can include things like unexpected and crazy emails and phone calls and pop-up visits from energy vampires. And many times we choose to consume the low quality content like the mind numbing television shows or those men with the podcast in the dark. I define consuming high quality content as anything that's going to improve my lifestyle and overall situation. That could include quality books, audiobooks, online courses and lectures, building boundaries with people, as well as my mentorship membership. Shameless plug. Be mindful of the things that you use to clean yourself and your space. A lot of times when we're busy, we're looking for convenience, but convenience doesn't have to equal unhealthy. This includes the products that you use on your skin, body, and your overall space and home to clean. I've also shared with you the overall efforts that I've focused on to build a more sustainable lifestyle and clean things like my beauty products as well as the things that I'm using to clean at home. It can be hard to find cleaning products without harmful ingredients but that's where Blue Land comes in. They believe you can have it all in your everyday products. Their products are effective, convenient, safe for use, affordable, and they're sourced from clean ingredients. And they're the sponsor of today's video. With Blue Land, all you need to clean your house or your hands is this nickel sized tablet. In the past, I've thrown away a lot of money when I threw away plastic bottles. I've paid up to five to six dollars for a plastic bottle of soap or cleaner. With Blue Land, it's just two dollars a tablet. Two dollars is how much you pay sometimes for a pack of gum. It goes up to about a dollar fifty five if you buy in bulk and that really adds up. Their products are vegan and cruelty free. There's no single use plastic in any of the components from bottles, tablets, wrappers, or shipping. They're also made with clean ingredients and made without ammonia, VOC, soy and nuts, chlorine bleach, and parabens. And they're also EPA certified. EPA scientists have evaluated every ingredient to make sure that it meets the stringent criteria of safer choice and I was able to get the Hand Soap Duo Kit. It came with the Forever Bottles and I got six tablets, some with the lemon and some with the lavender eucalyptus. And it smells heavenly and better yet, it cleans amazingly. Instead of buying individual cleaning products or hand soap, if you get a kit, you already get 20% in savings. Plus, I have a code for you to save an extra 20% off. All you have to do is click my link below to get 20% off your first kit. And you don't wanna miss this, like seriously, they never do this. And they're now shipping to the US, Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. As a self-care queen, I have to urge you to optimize your self-care and relaxation time. I know firsthand being busy how exhausting it can be sometimes, but we must set aside at least a little time to de-stress as well as feel more relaxed. Taking time to pause and doing the things that bring us joy can help us to be more productive, go harder and longer later. And you could be reducing those health concerns like heart attack and stroke. Just start with taking 10 minutes out of your day and scheduling it. But also there's other things like a 10 minute nap, getting a facial, getting your pedicures or getting a massage, doing some time with deep breathing and meditation and accidentally pushing the airplane mode on your phone so people can't reach you for a little while or just telling people no so you set boundaries. And going back to that meditation thing, I also like to make sure that I'm praying, just breathing as well. Either I'm laying down, walking, talking or even doing other things. You don't always have to be in a lotus position. And if you have no time, just add an extra glass of water to your day or go to bed a half an hour earlier. You'll be glad you did. If no one's ever told you this, it's okay to delegate tasks, ask for help and receive love. When you have a busy schedule most days of the week, try delegating some of the things that you must do. I pay others to help me in my business. And even in my new marriage, we like to make sure that we're balancing our time to be able to help and assist one another. Saving even one to two hours in my day helps me to relax and focus on things that are most important to my life. Some other things that you can do to prepare or do things are, take a day to prepare time consuming dishes or foods for the week. Do a home workout to save on commuting time. Only use social media while you're waiting on something or someone. On busy days, get some healthy food delivered instead of cooking. And look at healthy recipes that you can prepare in quick maybe even the night before. Now I know we talk about washing our face and bodies all the time, but do not neglect that dental hygiene. I'm gonna just cut to the chase. According to some studies, dental flossing and brushing can add another six years onto your life. Why? The theory is that the bacteria that produces dental plaque could cause some inflammation in your body by getting into your bloodstream. More specifically, it can cause illnesses like heart disease. 
So get in the habit of giving your teeth a good dental flossing and brushing at night every night it could add years onto your life and last but certainly not least take the opportunity to move more and i'm not just talking about busy body movements you can start off small like parking further away from the stores that you go to so you walk longer or taking the stairs everywhere instead of the elevators we don't necessarily have to do our long workouts daily to be healthy i choose to do a lot of long workouts because it's personally self-care for me but just starting with 30 minutes of walking a day like 15 minutes in the morning 15 minutes at night maybe that could actually give you health benefits but get this as little as 10 minutes of movement extra per week have been shown to give health benefits so there is no excuse so y'all i hope you have enjoyed today's video i know it can be hard when you're busy and tired and you're all over the place but it's definitely still important for us to get those health benefits from all the things that we're doing daily maximize and optimize your time that's the words of the year so make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching y'all beautiful brown baby doll peace check the links in the description for my free and new dr nina's mentorship facebook group which is a group of like-minded individuals looking to progress grow and support one another along the way thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website if you haven't already go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me giveaways and prizes weekly emails as well as my free eight day supernatural video course which is free when you sign up Ooh.